So we received our first bad review. What an absolute pile of poo. Okay, so it was inevitable getting a bad review. Like every business will get a, a bad review, especially phone repair business that is mobile. You know, endless problems can happen. You know, you can break phones, not turning up on time, miscommunication, all that jazz. But we knew it was coming one day, so it was gonna happen. But we generally thought this review wasn't our fault. We felt the customer was being quite unfair. We tried to solve the situation so many times. So the cut long story short, the customer booked a iPhone SE screen repair and battery replacement. Uh, we went out and completed the repair and we got them to sign a six month warranty. The six months warranty states that 21st century repairs will not be responsible if the phone is had any physical damage prior to handling. The warranty is void if the customer breaks the phone after the repair. Basically, if you break your phone after we've handled it, it's not our responsibility. Like, if if it was, then we'd be out of business straight away. Like, we wouldn't make any money. So I'm gonna take you through the main points of what the customer said in the negative review. So, paragraph one. I booked for these to come and fix my iPhone SE screen and replace a battery a couple of weeks ago and, and planned they came and fixed it. The first time they came and gave it back to me, I couldn't touch the screen as if, as if trapped and pressed every button at once. The phone was unusable. I ran in to come back and fix it again, which we did. Visit number one and visit number two. So visit number one, we fitted the screen. Visit number two, we fixed the faulty screen. The customer had a problem and we went back to fix it straight away. So paragraph two, but since I've had nothing but problems with my phone, overheated, the phone would trip out every now and then and sometimes had to leave for five mind and come back but i thought well it works when it needed so i just left it and couldn't be bothered with the hassle we couldn't do anything in that situation because we didn't know if the customer would have told us it was faulty again we would have gone back with a new screen or just gave them a refund so this is the most important part so paragraph number three a couple of days ago my phone fell off my sofa to a padded lino flooring no more than 30 centimeters and my phone screen fell out the phone, as did my camera, and my phone is now beyond repair. I would have maybe expected a crack, but not for the screen to completely fall out. So here's the pictures. So at this point, because the customers cracked their phone, the warranty is finished, like it's invalid. We can't do anything about it. We couldn't return it to the suppliers and get a new one for free. So paragraph four, I recognize the battery which explains why my phone was overheated and my screen has fell out as it has been pushed in and doesn't look like a new battery at all. My phone is now 100% broken beyond repair and I, I was left with no phone. Paragraph number five, I contacted them and explained and said I was very unhappy and that I needed my phone. I needed sorting all my money back. And the reply I got was I should have contacted them straight away, but I had no contact in. I had no way of contacting them as my phone was broke so I was unable to get on Facebook but as soon as I could I did but they said that was not good enough there was nothing I can do <laughs> so the customer states that we broke phone even though admitted that dropped the phone I was expecting a crack and they basically wanted their money back or they wanted us to buy them a new phone that's not fair at all I think it's like me saying I've broke my Xbox I've got someone to fix it and I drop my Xbox again and it breaks and I expect them to buy me a new one or pay, give me a refund. Like, doesn't really make sense. As you can see the crack on the phone, I don't know how dropping a phone on a laminated flooring can crack your phone that bad. Obviously, you never know the cause of someone cracking the phone. I don't, like anything could happen. I could lob this phone at a brick wall and say, I dropped it no more than five centimeters. Like you just don't know what's happened. So paragraph six, after sending them the pictures of my phone, they explained that the reason my screen had fell off was because a battery they had put in had swollen, which pushed my screen out. But that still doesn't explain why my camera fell out and the middle button wobbled. So as the customer mentioned the swollen battery, me and Reese thought, why don't we just try and give them a battery like, let's just try and resolve the situation, just try and put it to bed. But to be honest, in this paragraph, we felt like the customer was making up things. The home button wobbled, 
and the camera fell out. Just trying to make it worse, I guess. Paragraph seven, but was said nothing they could do as the screen was broken. But as I explained to them again, while well, the battery was from them. So again, it's a fault on their behalf. My screen had fell out my phone, as did my camera. But even then, they didn't want to take responsibility and said there was nothing they could do. After a while, they agreed to come out and replace my battery again. We tried to solve the situation, coming out again for the third time, which I don't really see a fault in that. We could have easily said, no, we're not coming out. After a while, they agreed to come out and replace just my battery again. Uh, third time they'd come out, but wouldn't do my screen. So still my phone is left broken and down to them. So we went around to the customer's location and the customer actually was even there. Like their partner was in, but they didn't seem to be bothered at all. At least if you're making up such a force, at least be there at the location, you know? We asked the person if the other person that was complaining is getting this repair and they said, they didn't know what they were doing. We were thinking, where does that lead us then? We put a brand new battery in, even though the old battery wasn't swollen at all. It wasn't swollen. The battery was fine. It wasn't swollen at all. Um, flat as a pancake, but we replaced it anyway. So just to summarize, the customer broke their phone and wanted us to pay for a new one. So when the review came through, we asked our mentor, shout out to Phil. <laughs> we asked our mentor what we should do for the review. And he said, list everything you did to try and help the customer and solve the situations. You know, stay professional. Don't go, don't try getting a public argument. Um, even though we did nothing wrong. Yeah, just stay professional and list everything that you did to help the customer. So obviously me and Reese are trying to build a business and we're passionate about it. So it's very hard not to be angry as soon as someone puts a review like that. It's hard to not respond in an emotional way. So we took a couple of days to calm down. And so I wrote this response. So, hi, customer's name. We're sorry that you had this bad experience with us. Granted, we do sometimes have faulty screens that can have touch response problems. But every time you had a problem, we came out to try and resolve this situation. At the time of your first repair, we explained and got you to sign a six months warranty that states the warranty is void if the customer causes physical or water damage to their phone after the screen repair. Therefore, we couldn't replace your screen for free or give you a full refund as it was cracked. As you explained your battery situation to us, we came out for the third time again and replaced your battery with a brand new one free of charge, even though the bat there was nothing wrong with the battery. As for the screen, you wasn't at the location you provided us with and therefore creating miscommunication. We're sorry to hear that you were not happy with the service. Kind regards, 21st century repairs. So that was the reply, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, did we handle it in a good way or bad way? Would you include anything else in that reply? Uh, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.